first, live, local. Fox 19 Morning News continues with Sheila Gray, Rob Williams, Dan Carroll, and first weather meteorologist Paul Horton. Good morning, everyone. You're watching the Fox 19 Morning News, 735. Stick around. Dan Carroll is doing something very special uh, with a local soldier here in a few minutes. It's a huge surprise. Yes, it is. And they told us that we could talk about it after 735, but we right. couldn't talk about it at 730, but we couldn't talk about it before that because we didn't want to ruin it for him. Absolutely. <laughs> so now we think he's not watching TV, but we, we aren't going to say his name or anything like that until we know that it's safe. But it's going to be a good one, I yeah, think. Yeah, it Exciting will be. Exciting stuff. <laughs> It's 7.37 and a big welcome home ceremony is planned for a local soldier today at his company. And usually, you know, we know what's going to go on before you do, but in this case, we have no idea what's going to go on. We're watching it <laughs> unveil as you are at home. Dan Carroll is in northern Kentucky this morning with the full story. Dan? Well, Rob and Sheila, good morning. Uh, you can see the sign right here. Hemmer Company salute Brad Rogers, Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers, who has recently returned from duty in Iraq. And today is his first day back at work. I don't know if you can see behind me, but... These are, this is the entrance, the lobby to the Hemmer companies here, and we've got a lobby full of people uh, waiting to give a nice surprise to Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers, his first day back to work. I am told that his wife is in on this, Robin Sheila, and she is going to deliver him here at 745, so about five or six or seven minutes from right now is uh, when this will take place. It is Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers Day here in Fort Mitchell. The mayor is going to have a proclamation. They've also got another ceremony set up for him uh, here at the Hemmer Company, so in about seven, eight minutes from now, we will endeavor to bring that to you live here on the Fox 19 Morning News. Should be a great ceremony, a great event, and we hope everyone can stick around for that. A big day here in Fort Mitchell. Rob and Sheila, we are waiting for the arrival, and when that happens, we'll bring it to you live. Okay, does All that right. sound good? That yeah. sounds wonderful. We'll All check right. back in with you, Dan. He needs to get out of the way with the camera so Brad is not he tipped does. off when he gets there. Go high. Right? Crouch <laughs> under a bush. Uh, still ahead of the Fox 19 Morning News. You know, not is Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers returning to work after serving in Iraq. Dan Carroll in Fort Mitchell this morning. Dan? Well, Robin Sheila, good morning once again. Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers has uh, just arrived for his first day of work, his uh, first time back since his service in Iraq, where he uh, was, has been there since 2004, and he just got back a couple of weeks ago. You may notice he has a pair of scissors in his hands right now, and what he's going to do is out here at the Hemmer Companies, they've had a yellow ribbon in place since he departed for his duty in Iraq, and now he is going to cer ceremoniously uh, remove that ribbon from the flagpole. A, uh, a very nice gesture by the Hemmer Companies, and, and there goes that ribbon that uh, that'll, they've had out here since the very beginning and let's see if we can get uh, Brad Rogers the man of the hour right over here Brad we're live on channel 19 good to see you sir how are you seeing you I'm doing pretty good now <laughs> we, were, we were there a couple of weeks ago when you had uh, your homecoming ceremony and, oh, yeah. and you had a big surprise then and yeah. and now the the, the company the, the hammer company is coming out and giving you a big welcome home this morning oh it's uh, it's been really great it's been fantastic uh, you know it's uh, kind of overwhelming really you know it's uh, definitely uh, I don't feel it's deserving of course they're gonna say it is but you know I just uh, just like anyone else you know that went over there so now, you uh, wrote a letter some time ago when uh, you were over there in Iraq that, that kind of brought to light the uh, issue of the lack of body armor for a lot of the troops that, that you were serving with at that time. And uh, that letter really got a lot of national attention and certainly got a lot of attention around here. Uh, when you wrote that letter, is that something that, that you were expecting to happen? Well, uh, it, it, was, it wasn't the body armor, it was the vehicle armor. The vehicle armor, yeah. okay. And, uh, you know... I really didn't expect all that to happen. Uh, all I knew is that I wanted to get uh, my company uh, help, and uh, you know we had lost uh, lost someone, and uh, certainly didn't want to lose anyone else. And uh, one was too many as far as I was concerned, and I knew that we needed better armor for our vehicles, and I was hoping it would get to the right hands, and uh, I think the. Uh, Lord above had a lot to do with that as well. So. And what you did in, in the long run may have wound up saving uh, several lives. I uh, certainly could have. You know, only God knows that, but uh, uh, certainly could have. And uh, you didn't know about the surprise this morning. Did you know that your lovely wife was in on this? Uh, <laughs> my lovely wife has been in on a lot of things, so <laughs> that one doesn't surprise me too much. But uh, yeah, she uh, and and there she is right there. In introduce her to everyone here on the Fox 19 Morning News. Uh, this is my wife, uh, Sandy Rogers. Sandy, uh, you had a hand in all this today, didn't you? Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. What do you think about this guy? 
He's the best. He's the best? All right. Well, very good. Well, we've got some more ceremonies going on. It, it, after all, it is your special day. Oh. Thank you very much for your service to our country, and, and have a great day, will you? I sure will. All right. Very good. Robin Sheila, there you have it, the man of the hour, Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers, returning oh. to work here at the Hammer Companies. I don't and, think uh, he's going to get a lot of work done today, Dan. <laughs> What's that? I don't think he's going to get a lot of work done. Uh, yeah, he, Sheila doesn't think you're going to get a lot of work done today. What do you say? <laughs> I, I would have to agree with Sheila. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to get too much work done. you got to get the computer back up and running, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was telling some guys here at Hemmer if uh, if they want me to, to go out and uh, run a convoy and pull, you know, escort them from point A to point B and, a, and pull security, I would have no problem doing that. But uh, something about, you know, doing leasing might be a little difficult at first. Right. And uh, they uh, they said they would pull the fire alarm for me to make give me a little chaos. There you go. <laughs> very good. Very good. Well, thank, thank you so much. Robin Sheila, we'll go ahead and send it back to you. Thank You'll see you. a whole lot more of this tonight on the 10 o'clock. What a great, great job. story. Great job. Dan. You know, I can't imagine leasing would be quite as exciting. As exactly. We well, want to say thank you to, to the great people there at Hammer Construction for allowing us to be a part yeah. of that. And more importantly, allowing you guys to take part of that. Because, you know, over and over we do stories about um, soldiers getting killed in Vietnam. This is another story of a soldier returning, getting back to life, reuniting with his wife. Yeah, we and love to do the Good well, stuff. Yeah. Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers is a member of the 2113th Kentucky National Guard Transportation Unit. He returned home last month after spending a year serving in Iraq. Paul Hammer Companies in Fort Mitchell allowed him to spend the last few weeks with his family before returning to work. Staff Sergeant Rogers joined in an effort last year when he and other service personnel requested the federal government provide more armor to protect soldiers in military vehicles. It was a thing of right or wrong, and uh, you know, I've got 16 and a half years of service. Uh, I was in Desert Storm, and I knew what was right, I knew what was wrong, and uh, if it meant uh, you know, giving up that 16 and a half years of service, that was what I was willing to do to do the right thing. Staff Sergeant Rogers began his military career in 1989. He served in South Korea and the Gulf War before he was called back to duty in 2004. That's nice. That was a great hero's welcome, and yeah, all those people who waited outside for him got to stand there in glorious weather today. Yeah. You uh, you know, people also make sure they get the same. Brad Rogers. The mayor of Fort Mitchell proclaimed today Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers Day in his honor. Rogers lives in Hebron and works in sales for the real estate development company.